Hey, I'm going to show you how to do a 3D flower. First, I'm going to put my stones on using my IBD Clear Builder Gel, so give me one second. Okay, so I have a nice little cluster. I'm going to go ahead and cure that. Okay, so I use my dappin' dish, and I do half monomer and half acetone, and I do that because when you add the acetone to the monomer, it helps your... Uh, colored acrylic or any acrylic powder that you're using set really fast and I like to move quick when I'm doing my flowers. I also have my go-to number five Panna Kolinsky 3D flower brush or 3D brush rather. You can get it on Amazon or anywhere else that sells nail supplies I suppose. So let's get right into it. I'm going to get a nice generous amount of this liquid because I know that this black powder sets quickly. So I chose the black so you can see it better and because everybody seems to love the black flowers. So I'm going to set this bead right there. This is where I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on how this bead looks because once it starts to get matte and um, like a solid color, it's going to start drying quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and start pressing this out. I'm going to kind of maneuver it so I can get a point to it. Unless you want the rounded um, petals, that's different. It's personal preference. I'm going to push down towards the stones, start spreading out the bottom, and I'm just going to lightly feather up the top so you get the one petal. And then I'm going to do that again over here. I'm going to get another generous bead. That's not going to work. Hold on, let me tilt my container. Okay, and then I'm going to put that down right here. If you ever put a bead on uh, the nail and it seems like it's too dry and it's falling all over the place, take it off and start over. Don't ever be afraid to start over. And I'm just going to, again, I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to help it along a little bit. I'm going to start pressing it out because it is starting to dry. Press it down. You want to you wanna be able to see the separation and definition of the petals. You don't want them to all bleed together and run together. So you're just going to repeat that process all the way around. So when you get to the last petal, you want to try to do the same position as the one on the top. At least that's the way I do it. So I'm just going to bring that down, try to get the same size. I'm going to spread it out, bring it to the point. And then that should do it. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, adding acetone to your monomer really does help. So go try it for yourself. Good luck and have a great day.